With Terminal API Actions, you can create custom workflows for collecting data, checking a device's status, or printing receipts all using Terminal API. We'll walk through all of the Terminal Actions that you can use and how to link them together to make a complete workflow. You'll need to be sure you have your Terminal device paired already before you can create any Terminal Actions. If you don't know how to pair a Terminal device with Terminal API, check out the video we have linked below to learn how. To initiate a Terminal API action, you'll make a call to the Create Terminal Actions endpoint. Let's take a look at the different Terminal Actions that are available. First up, we have the Confirmation Screen action. You can use this action to display a message to a buyer and show buttons to either decline or agree to what is being displayed. Next, we have the Signature Capture action. This allows you to have a buyer provide their signature as a way of agreeing to or acknowledging what you display on the screen. Now we have the data collection action. The data collection action supports collecting either a phone number or email address using a single text field for the buyer to enter their information in. Next up is the menu selection action. You can use this action to display two or more buttons to a buyer to select from. Here we have the QR code action. This action allows you to display a QR code. You can encode a link to download an app, a link to a website, or anything that is supported by QR codes. Next is the receipt action. You can use this action to issue a receipt or reprint a receipt for a previous payment. Then we have the ping action that lets us check the status of a terminal device. This will return back information about the state of the device for things like the charging state, the network connection, the battery percentage, and more. Finally, we have the save card action. This action lets you use a terminal to save a buyer's card information to be used for future purchases. That covers all the different terminal actions that are currently available. Now, let's take a look at how we can link terminal actions together to make a customized workflow. For our example, let's take a look at the actions we can link together to do a marketing contact flow. The way to link actions is by setting the await next action field to true. That'll have terminal wait for us to send another action after it completes the one it's working on. First, we'll use a confirmation action to ask whether the buyer would like to receive updates about offers or discounts. Depending on if the buyer said yes to our confirmation action, we can then create a menu selection action to let the buyer choose how they'd like to be contacted, either email or SMS. Then we'll finish with a data collection action set to either phone or email, depending on what they selected in the previous action. Since it's the last action in our flow, we can set a wait next action to false, and it'll return our terminal back to the idle screen after it completes. That's it. You can see how simple it is to link these actions together and create really powerful workflows. If you want to learn more about Terminal API or how actions work, make sure to check out the docs. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.